hello everyone thank you for watching i'm back to my archicad users i'm actually going to be um showing you how to export um your work from archicad to atlantis and then how you can work on it in atlantis okay so i'm going to be clicking on my file menu i'm going to be using um, save us or Control shift x and then i'm going to select um i'm going to select a folder where i'm going to be putting the work and i have a folder here already created called gt bank design i already have something like that before but i'm going to overwrite it it's asking me what do i want to export i want to export the camera the sun the walls the roof the slab and everything in the system in the in the project that's exactly what i'm going to be exporting so if you look here you see that your engine is actually working on doing that for you it has done that so i'm going to save it and then i'm going to um, close it down and then I'm going to go to the folder whereby I have the archi card uh, the um, the work okay here here we go here I'm gonna okay first of all I want to show you the first one I rendered um, it's taking a, it's taking a time to open but I'm sure that's gonna happen okay yeah this is the first one that I rendered but I decided to like let me change this roof pattern and uh, create a new one for myself so that's exactly what I did so the new design now has a new different roof pattern okay so I'm gonna be a little bit fast to show you how you're gonna be changing the shaders that it came with from Akikad and then make it look much more realistic so while that is opening I am quickly gonna be you know hanging on and then wait for the thing to open uh, okay why that is happening I could quickly turn down okay it's already open here why that is happening I could also show you some of my 3ds it's a commercial um, property that I, I actually designed I believe by now the Atlantis should be open okay yeah here we go Atlantis is open I can resize my window can... now this is it now first of all I'm gonna be, gonna be changing the sky and then changing it it's called Helidion I'm gonna be changing it checking the cloud of course you can see I have a cloud there now I'm gonna be changing my sun direction to azimuth 305 I'm gonna be increasing my sun shadow can see it here I'm gonna be leaving sun at zero okay then I'm gonna be changing the color of the paint up here it's called shaders I'm gonna click that and then I'm gonna form a shader for that one but nothing to worry about just watch when the time comes I'm gonna be showing you how to change shader colors and then make it look just the way you want it to look for yourself so without waiting much time and nothing to worry about i'm going to be adding um, a glass effect you can see that one is blue there but i want another one that has a more realistic effect so i'm going to be using this drag and then showing you it's highlighting the areas here it's going to take the effect so i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to be reducing the transparency level to this and then I'm gonna also reduce the fan cell so it look much more real okay you can see that happen there okay and then I want to work on the door there I can add the glass effects to the door of course you can see that play out there for yourself you know All I want you to do here is just to watch while I change these shaders. And let me change the ground. I can come back here, use floor shaders. It's called exterior shaders. I use concrete here. And then I place my concrete. Watch what happens. Take shape. Okay. And then from here also, I can put in cars. Here I can see my car there. I have a Honda there. I can just pick drag. That's showing me the base where the Honda is going to stay. I click. And then I drag the Honda is there now this is where I'm gonna be stopping for now I'm gonna be 
making tutorials on how I'm gonna be working on the shaders and then creating a more realistic environment for this project so sit back relax be ready to bring up with your questions while I'm gonna be working on creating a more realistic render with this project there's nothing to worry about I'm gonna be explaining to you in detail the things I'll be doing so you won't be carried away do not forget to ask questions in situations whereby you get confused you can see I'm still changing the shaders still changing them make that small green I can make it more light green and then make it look more realistic and stuff like that so go to perspective check some other views can check some other views can check some other views I can also check some other views okay now I'm gonna be stopping here and then my next video I'll be working more on how we're gonna be improving on this project like adding um, security cameras adding trees and other built environment around it thank you very much for your time